What's up guys, Ben here for Play.net and today we're taking a look at Noctua's new line of fans, well one of their new lines, uh, the Redux series. Now as you can see we have a pretty nice variation of sizes and fans here. We'll start off with our 140mm fans over on this side. As you can see you can get a round um, one or a square one depending on what you want it for. Both of these ones shown are actually 1500 RPM PWM bands. Now in the 140 millimeter range, you can also get a 1200 RPM PWM fan or a normal 1200 RPM fan as well as a 900 RPM uh, standard three pin fan. Moving on to the 120 millimeter version, we have a 1200 R RPM PWM fan as well as a normal 1200 uh, just a three pin fan. You can also get a 700 RPM fan just a normal one in the 120 millimeter size. Over on now to our 92 millimeter fans. Now I know a lot of you are saying uh, well what do we need 92 and 80 millimeter fans for? Well apparently Noctua decided we did so here they are whether we like them or not. I am actually quite sure that they will come in handy for some as not everybody always wants the big monster fans in their case and you never know where you can put these. They might be helpful for modding and stuff. I know myself I'll be looking to try to fit them in somewhere. Uh, in the 92mm fans we have a 1600 RPM PWM fan and a normal standard 1600 RPM 3 pin fan. And lastly but not least, the little baby of the family, the 80 millimeter. Now, myself personally, I have not used an 80 millimeter fan in who knows how long. It has literally been years. But Noctua have made it, and they it, here it is. It looks nice. Um, it does seem a bit small when you compare it to the likes of 140 and 120 mil, which are of course becoming the norm or have been the norm for some time now for most of us enthusiasts and gamers but hey we've got an 80 millimeter fan that comes in at a whopping 1800 rpm and you can get a normal one or you can get the pwm version which is of course the power management one with the four pin and you can also get it in a 1200 rpm of course revolu rpm is the revolutions per minute how many times the fan will spin around now I know it's probably a little bit hard to see, but if you look at some of these fans, you may also notice that their blades are designed a little bit differently. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but we'll take it around here. These blades here on the 140 millimeter fans, they actually kind of have, I would almost say what looks like shark bites in them. Now of course, I would imagine these are to help airflow and all that, but it's definitely something unique that I have not quite seen in this fashion before. And of course also our 120 millimeter fan uh, as you can see there's a bit more space between the blades than normal. They're kind of straight and narrow instead of side to side if you will if you, <laughs> if you kind of get what I'm saying. And then even the little fans. Um, the 92 mil has the little shark bites as I call them and the little 80 mil fan is just normal. I have, I have not got a chance to use these yet. I look forward to testing them out. Of course, big thanks to Noctua for sending them to us to review. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what I've done wrong. Ask your questions. Give me some critique. Please, everything is helpful. I will be doing a full review on these in the near future. So please check back for that. And yeah, thank you for watching.